Wellcraft Boats presents Sureholds Clean and Simple Tips. Welcome to Clean and Simple Tips. Today's tip, we are going to be talking about how do you select the right wax. Now I know selecting wax seems like voodoo or black magic. You ask 20 different people, you get 20 different responses. But we're going to help you sort it through it all because I know when you go to that marine care aisle or the automotive care aisle, the selection looks overwhelming. So let's start off by talking about what wax is, what its purpose is, and the different types. First off, we called the process waxing because originally the protective coating we were using was made of wax. And the intention is to protect the surface so water sheets off quicker, prevents water spots, and you also perfect, prevent the harsh elements like the UV rays from oxidizing your surface. But today, many of them don't have any wax in them at all. So let's take a look at the differences between the different protectants and which one has the best benefits to help you out. The first one we're going to look at are wash and wax combo products. This category of products claims to wash and wax the surface at the same time. In my opinion, this is just marketing as no real effective protection is left behind. You are much better off using a good quality soap that is environmentally friendly and then follow it up with a proper good quality wax. The next section is cleaner waxes. This category of protectants includes a mild abrasive mixed in with the protectant wax. It provides some very light stain removal at the same time you are waxing. Many of these products do work well. Unfortunately, when you use these, you are doing this cleaning action to the entire surface when it may not need it. There is a finite amount of gel coat or clear coat on your surface. So I always recommend we want to use the least abrasive product or preferably a product with no abrasives in it at all if you do not need it. The traditional old fashioned straight paste wax is one of the oldest styles of protection. They require a considerable amount of elbow grease and hours of buffing. Now they've been upgraded over the years to make them a little bit easier, but in doing so, non-productive fillers like talc have been added to the formulas. Buffing out these waxes results in the use of multiple towels to remove this powdery filler. The last category of protectants is polymer-based waxes. Now most of these don't have any natural wax in them at all, but that's okay. They are of the latest technology. They have synthetics in them, and they're really easy to work with. They're cream-based, like our Pro Polish here, and all you do is put some on your microfiber towel or wax applicator pad, and you just want to do circles, get it into the boat or into your car surface. Make sure you don't miss any spots, and as quick as we get this on, it's making a chemical bond with the boat. Now this has UV protectants and water sheeting action like a natural wax, but again, all synthetic, makes the bond with the boat. Because it's thinner, it fills in all the pores, nooks and crannies. And then you just take a dry section of towel and watch this. Just wipe off any excess. There's no buffing. You're just pulling off the excess material. Most of it's bonded with the boat, and you can see there's very little to no powder or anything because there's no fillers. And this is going to leave a great protection. Synthetics are a really good way to go. I can go on and on about how much more I prefer polymer-based protectants because they're easy to work with. They make a nice strong chemical bond with the boat. They have great UV protection, not a lot of fillers. But at the end of the day, people want to know you know, how does it bead water? And we're going to do a standard water beading test. You can see we did four different surfaces on our Wellcraft 340 test boat here with each of the four products, and we're going to hose them down and take a quick look. As you can see from the water test we just did here on our Wellcraft 340 Coastal, the wash and wax combo no beading, no sheeting at all because there's truly no protectant being left behind. More of a marketing gimmick. The other three, the cleaner wax, the paste wax, and the polymer based protectant, all have excellent beading and protective qualities. The differences come in, cleaner wax has abrasive in it. I always recommend you don't want to use abrasive across your entire surface. You're taking off more than you need. The straight 
paste wax, really nice protectant, old technology, a lot more elbow grease is needed. You're starting with a hard block of paste in there. You gotta work it real hard. You gotta buff it out real hard. You're left with the fillers. You go through a lot of towels. Polymer-based protectants. Now these are the latest in technology like our Pro Polish. You saw it went on really easy, came off really easy. No real hard buffing out that you have to do. No fillers left behind on the towels. I could do this entire vessel with one or two small nice microfiber towels without a problem. Excellent UV protection. Again, up north two times a year, down here in the south three to four times a year. Think of it like sunblock. Just one coat when you're doing it and you get this beautiful protection like this. The next time you're in the automotive or marine care aisle, don't be overwhelmed by all those products. Remember, we want to find a polymer-based protectant with good UV qualities. Or just ask for a bottle of Sureholds Pro Polish. Comes in both automotive and marine labeling. Works great on both. Until next time, keep your car, truck, RV, and boat clean and simple.